What should happen to Stephen Paddock's estate? The man police say was the Route 91 concert shooter was apparently a multimillionaire. News 3's Craig Figner reports live from the Regional Justice Center where a court battle over his money and where it should go is underway. We began hearing stories about Stephen Paddock being quite wealthy not long after the October 1st Route 91 concert attack. Today in court, the question of Stephen Paddock's wealth and what will happen to it, who will get it, all of that is now in play. There is going to be a barrage of lawsuits. Stephen Paddock was reportedly worth $5 million and owned two homes, but because nobody is officially in charge of his estate, his wealth right now is merely speculation. The FBI said that he's got $5 million in cash is what we believe, but we don't know how much real estate he has. Paddock died without a will. That's why his assets are currently in the hands of a probate court. Attorneys for Route 91 shooting victims want the estate equally divided. And today, the judge gave those attorneys until January 31st to agree on a plan to keep the estate's value from being squandered by lawsuits. What we wanted is time for all of the lawyers on behalf of victims to get together to see if we can come up with an alternative mechanism other than lawsuits to preserve the assets for the victims and eventually distribute assets to the victims. During the hearing, we learned that Paddock's home in Mesquite and Reno remain under the control of police. They're part of the ongoing investigation. One of the first things you need to find out is, is there an insurance policy? Judge Gloria Sturman told everyone to return to court February 15th. That's when she's expected to appoint a third party, a person responsible for managing whatever Paddock was worth when he died. That administrator, when appointed, will have the authority to potentially defend the estate against lawsuits, to receive notice, legal notice that the estate's being sued, and then also to organize the assets, to protect them, to be responsible for them. Right now, again, without a will, nobody is responsible for Paddock's estate. The bank accounts, we're told, have been frozen. The homes that he owned are still under the control of, of law enforcement. I'm Craig Figner, reporting live, News 3. Craig, thank you. Happening right now, the Raiders Stadium Authority.